Hi, I'm Chris. I'm here to tell you about the brace chosen specifically for you to help with your post-operative recovery. It's called the T-Scope Hip. It's from Bregg, and it's specially designed to support and protect your hip after surgery. Let me explain why this particular brace was chosen for you. First of all, it was developed in conjunction with industry-leading doctors who specialize in injuries, instabilities, and arthroscopic surgery to the hip. Second, there are other hip braces available to your doctor. The T-Scope hip brace was selected for you because it combines the function and comfort that may not be available with other braces. And the T-Scope hip brace is very user-friendly. The T-Scope hip brace is different. It's comfortable. It provides exceptional support after your hip surgery and, unlike some other braces, it's very easy to put on. Additionally, the T-Scope hip has an easy-to-use hinge that controls your hip's range of motion. Your doctor will determine the range settings. You should not change the settings unless your doctor instructs you to do so. It also has telescoping bars. That's why we call it T-Scope. So your doctor or clinician can adjust the size and length to fit you, so it's comfortable to wear. Just as important as the brace's innovative features is its comfort. There's padding throughout the brace and thoughtful details like this padding that helps protect your hands when you're on crutches. The T-Scope hip also has a unique laser system. So you can easily apply compression to the brace with a one-handed pull so that you can control the comfort. And here's an added bonus. This brace has a removable waist belt that you can use for certain kinds of low back support following your recovery. One important reminder, T-Scope hip braces will not prevent or reduce all injuries. Proper rehabilitation and activity modification are also an important part of a safe recovery program. Patients using T-Scope should consult with a medical professional regarding safe and appropriate activity levels while wearing this brace. The initial application of the T-Scope hip brace should be performed by a medical professional only. As a result, the brace has been customized to fit you and should require no additional adjustment at the waist or thigh. The T-Scope hip will most likely be applied to your hip and leg following your surgery. Once you're home, follow your doctor's instructions as to when you can remove the brace to clean it. Removing the brace is easy. Just release the waist belt and thigh strap. To release the thigh strap, pull the tab attached to the D-ring and unclip the buckle. Release the lacer pull and undo the waist belt. You don't need to change or adjust anything else on the brace. To reapply the brace, first release the pull tab to allow the lacer housing to be fully separated. Position the waist belt at approximately the navel level. Make sure the center of the lacer is in the middle of your back by pulling both sides of the belt an equal distance away from the body. Apply the waist belt by wrapping it around your waist and affixing the hook end Y tab on top of the opposite end of the waist belt. Now tighten the lacer housing by pulling the lacer pull forward away from your body and then secure the lacer pull to the waist belt across your body. Not all body shapes are the same, so a little space between the hinge and your body is normal. Wrap the thigh strap around your leg and attach the thigh strap buckle to the hook on the thigh cuff. Remove the thigh strap tab attached to the D-ring and buckle and pull the strap, making sure the thigh strap is snug at all points around your leg. Your doctor may have shortened the straps to fit you by folding them over. This includes both the waist belt straps and the thigh strap. You can continue to use the straps as folded or you can use scissors to cut the straps. Be careful not to cut the hook and loop tab. Remove the Y tabs from the end of the straps. Cut the straps to the right length for you. Then reattach the Y tabs. Here's something to remember. Don't cut the straps too short so that there isn't enough material to affix the hook and loop. If you experience any increased pain, swelling, skin irritation, or any adverse reactions when using a T-scope hip brace, Stop using the brace and contact your doctor immediately. You'll need to clean your T-scope hip brace periodically depending on your activity level and how much you perspire. Hand wash your brace's foam pads and straps in cold water with a mild detergent. Rinse, lay flat, and air dry. 
Do not machine wash or tumble dry. If you need a reminder of how to put on or care for the brace, just scan the QR code on the label of your brace with your QR code enabled smartphone to view this video again. Or you can go to Bregg.com to view this video online. You can also refer to the instructions for use pamphlet that came with your brace or view the pamphlet on the Bregg website. Rather talk to a person? Call Bragg Customer Care at 1-800-897-2734. If you have questions about your hip brace, ask your doctor. To apply the surgical boot onto the foot, start by opening the boot by detaching the hook and loop fasteners. Place the foot into the boot with the heel against the seam of the back of the boot. Make sure the section with the Bragg logo is on the lower leg, not on the foot. Trim the strap and boot sections if necessary. Now secure the two inch padded strap. Now secure the foot portion of the boot, then the lower leg portion of the boot. And you follow the same steps for the other boot. To affix the surgical pillow to the boots, place the pillow between the feet vertically so the Bragg logo is in the upright position facing you and the tag is away from you. Affix the surgical boots to the pillow by attaching the enclosed hook and loop strap to the boot on the unaffected foot and wrapping it around the pillow to the other boot. Have someone help you if needed. The strap will not attach to itself, so ensure the entire hook and loop strap is attached to the pillow or boots. If you need a reminder of how to put on the surgical boots and pillow, just scan the QR code on the label of the pillow with your QR code enabled smartphone to view this video again or you can go to Bragg.com to view the video online. To find the correct position for the hinge, flex your hip by raising the leg and center the hinge over the joint where the leg and hip pivot. Make sure to separate the lacer housing as much as possible when wrapping the belt around the body to ensure enough compression when the lacer pull is engaged. This can be achieved by removing the lacer pull before applying the belt. If the thigh cuff just below the hinge is causing any pressure, try to rotate the entire brace slightly forward so the waist cuff is more aligned with the lateral midline of the body. If you have fitting problems after you remove the brace, contact the healthcare professional who provided you with the brace and request an adjustment. If you have general questions about your T-Scope hip brace, call Bragg Customer Care at 800-897-2734. You'll find more information about T-Scope hip braces at Bragg.com.